How much reserve should you have for emergency savings or rainy day fund? You should have six months of cap. And here is what cap is made up of. It's made up of your monthly expenses. So this is like gas and fuel, your rent or your mortgage, another expenses category, personal spending, all the stuff that you spend month to month. It's also made up of you know, things that you don't spend every month. This is called short-term savings. So we have our monthly expenses normally over here and then our short-term savings over here are basically like things like car repair, Christmas, vacation funds, yearly expenses. And what you do is you take the sum of all those things you don't spend money on every single month but happen every now and again. Think about the total you're gonna spend over the course of the year and you divide that by 12 and you set aside a little bit of money for that every month. Your six-month emergency fund should be six months worth of monthly expenses and six months worth of that short-term savings. And the combination of those two things is called your cap because that's capped at the amount of money you need to set aside every single month.